Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you my Supernatural tie-in novels collection. This would be volume 1 through 17. I'm not sure if they're writing anymore because the series is ending. So let's get started. So the first book of the series is Nevermore by Keith R. A. D. Canado. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, I have no clue. So this is the cover. This is what the spine looks like before they switched it to these. And here is the description on the back. I'm not going to read them, so um, you can pause them. You can pause it and read it. Okay, I'm going to slide up. So. Okay. So what's really cool about these books, they actually do take place in between episodes, so... Let me show you. So it will say, um, historians note, and it will say what episodes and what seasons in between. <clears throat> so it takes bet place between season two, episodes Crossroad Blues and Croatoan. So that's what this one takes place in between. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's kind of dry. Okay, I'm better. Okay. The next book is called Witch's Canyon, which fills up that plot hole of them going to the Grand Canyon. And it's by Jeff Marionette. And here's the side on this one. And here is the description on the back of this one. Okay, this part is the same, so I'm going to just move it to here. Okay, and let's see if this one was in between any episodes. I honestly have no clue if it was. No, this one wasn't, so, because there's no historian note. Okay, some will be in between episodes, or some you could just guess the season they're in. Okay, here is the next one, which is Bone and Key by Keith R.A. DeCanado. I'm sorry for pronouncing that wrong. And it's blue. This is the last... One they made, like with this spine. Okay. And let's see if it has a historian note. Yes, it does. Okay. Takes place after third season episode of Very Supernatural Christmas. Really good episode. Oh my god. Then we got book four, which is when the covers start changing. And this is Heart of the Dragon by Keith R.A. DeCanado. He writes a lot of them. And this is when the spines start to change. Okay, and let's see if this one has a story in No, I honestly do not know. Yes, it does. So this one is... Takes... Play shortly after Changing Channels, which is a freaking awesome episode. So that's what th this one takes place. I really love these books. These are so cool. So next one we have is The Only Unholy Cause by Do... Joe Shh. I'm not even going to try pronouncing that Plus by Joe, this guy right here, this person And here's what the edge looks like It's fine And here is the description on the back Okay, let's see if it has a historian note, because some of these, you just have to figure out where to take place. Okay, this one does not have a historian note, so it just starts. Okay, next book is called War of Sons by Rebecca Desert Teen and David Reed. I hope I'm saying that right. This 
spine and here is the description on the back. Okay, let's look on the inside. Yes, it does have a story note. <clears throat> Excuse me. Take shortly after my bloody Valentine. Hmm, wonder where they got that title from. <laughs> okay. So on to the next stack. Next we got is when you're gone. By Rebecca Dessertstein. I'm not sure. Here is the back. And let's see if we have a note inside. So no episodes are between. No, this one does not. Okay. The next we have is Coyote's Kiss by Christia Fawcett. Faust, I'm guessing. I don't know. Here's the back. Okay. Yes, it has one. Takes place during six seasons between Cage Heat and Appointment in Samara. So next book whoa, it's so close. We have Is Night Terror by John Paracella, I'm guessing. Is the back Okay, we have one. This one takes place during six season between Fonterland and Mommy Dearest. Ooh. The next one we got is Right of Patches by John Paracella. Okay, this one takes place between season time of season seven time of wedding and how to win friends and monster influence influence monsters. I read that backwards. Sorry, I cannot read some of these. Okay, next book we have is Fresh Meat by Alanis Henderson. See if it has one. Yes, it does. Okay. So it takes place during season seven between Shut Up, Doctor Phil, and Slash Fiction. Oh my God, Slash Fiction! I remember these episodes. These were so good. Okay, the next one we have is Card and Flesh by Tim Wagner. Actually, I owned this one for a while, so I did read it, but it got destroyed. This is actually an R here. If you're trying to figure out what that word is. Probably should get a new copy of this later. I'm not sure. But it takes place between during season seven, time after time, and these slice girls. So that's what it takes off during. Next one we have is Cold Fire by John Persilla. Uh, 
Okay, history notes here. Takes place during season 10 between About a Boy and Halt and Catch Fire. So, next one we have is Myth Maker by Tim Wagner. Oh, this saw it too. Okay. <clears throat> okay, it takes place between season 10 and between Hibbling 911 and the things you left behind. The next one we have is Unusual Sacrifices by. I'm not even gonna try. That's what the author's name is, so. So this one takes place during season 10 between the Hunter Games and Salt and Catch Fire. Ooh. Then we have Joy Ride by John Priscilla. Okay, this one takes place between during season twelve between the future and Twigs, Twine, and Tasha Baines. And the very last book we have is Children of Anubis by Tim Wagner. I don't know if they're making any more books to this. Probably they're done. I'm not sure. Okay, here's the historian note. This one takes place during season 12, set after season 12, the one you've been waiting for. So that's the, when this one ends. So here is all the books that are in the tie-in novels. I'll list them all in the description down below so you guys can look it up and try to find each one. All these I got at Barnes & Nobles. And I am really sad that the series is ending, but I'm just hoping it has a really good ending to the show and probably it's going to make us cry, but I'm not sure. And I'm not sure if they're writing any more books, so this is pretty much it for the video. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video soon. Bye.